Hello everyone, my name is Livia and today I'm continuing my PVC challenge. In this challenge, I made every zombie have 10 times its health and if you haven't watched my first video, I highly recommend you watching it first. It will be right here, I'll wait you. And let's do a quick recap. Last time we discovered that basic zombies can tank one insta kill, Conheads can tank more than 3 insta kills. Paul Walters have a bit more health than Gargantuars and Bucketheads tank more than 7 insta kills. We also banned Chomper from the challenge because it solos the entire game. With all of that I managed to survive the first stage of the game, so now we are moving on to the next stage, Night Levels. So let's start night. The obvious difference here is that we don't get sun from sky, making it almost impossible to get snow beyond the first level. Thankfully we have buff shrooms, the most cost effective plant in the game, effectively just a pea shooter, so to kill the first few basics we can just buff this potato mine, and after we get some sun we can stall zombies with walnut. This level also introduces newspaper zombies and the funny thing about them is that insta-kills can pierce through the newspaper making them almost as dangerous as a basic meaning not dangerous at all Now the first night level with two flags. You see the problem here? Too much zombies and too little sun. So you have to protect your sun shumps a lot more, because if you drain all your sun, you won't be able to come back. Also, if you time it your lawnmowers properly, so zombies in the final wave don't spawn in that lane, you still have to deal with gravestone zombies which, if you don't have a lot of sun, will get pretty hard to kill. So, let me introduce to you to backstabbing. If you plant a potato mine behind a zombie eating a walnut, the potato mine will be able to hit the zombies, instead of awkwardly waiting for the zombies to, stare, to stop eating. Also, you can even time some zombies so they step on the potato mine at the same time it is backstabbing a zombie for some cool style points. Anyways, without anything more to say, I'll leave you with some people. Okay, so let's talk about something some of you may be wondering. Money. You see, the thing with money is that I could just grind for thousands of hours or just cheat to get infinite money. But as I said in the first video, I want this run to be as vanilla as possible. So if I really want the money, I will have to grind. But grinding in this challenge is kinda bad. So for the most part, I'm just going to let RNG decide my fate. Thankfully, we can void the 7 slot in this level, because we had a lot of deaths on the previous one. Yeah. Next level, new zombie. Let's talk about the screen door zombie. You know the shovel zombie from PVC2? Well, in this challenge, this zombie is basically that. But it survives one insta-kill, 
So if we don't have Fume Shroom, we need two insta kills to get rid of them. Oh, and Snoopy doesn't chill them, so keep an eye on that. No, before we continue, let's play a funny game I like to call Who's That Pokemon? It's Paul Balting Zombie. Paul Balters are alone are a pain in the ass. Now we imagine them with screened or zombies absorbing all Snoopy's projectiles. And the night levels, where you don't get a lot of sun. Oh, and backstabbing doesn't work with them, because their hitboxes fucking suck. Oh, it gets better than They also spawn in lanes with a lot of graves, so they can get pretty deep into your defense if you're not careful. So, here you have to make a decision. Use Fume Shroom, so you don't need to insta kills for Sprinter, or use Grave Buster so full ball things become less of a problem and so there is no gravestone zombies on the final wave. I went with gravestone, grave buster because I'm more comfort comfortable with it. But at the end of the day, any option is good. The other plants are pretty much a necessity too. Sunshroom is more cost effective, effective than sunflower, potion is a great early game attacker and it fares really well into the mid game. Walnut and Snow Peacocks install the zombies a lot, so you have more time to attack them and also to stack them. Then for your raw damage, Cherry Bomb and Potato Potato Mine are pretty much the only plants that actually damage the zombies. Without anything more to say, I'll leave you with the gameplay of this level. Horrible level. Level, which is a mini game, Waka Zombie. And here, basic stake 1 hit, easy PC, Conhey stake 6 hits, and Pocket heads 13 hits. 13. You wanna know the best part of all this? I completed the level, and then I did it again, more or less because I'm fucking insane. Now we unlock Hypnosium, the best plant in this challenge, right? I mean, you can insta-kill a zombie and basically transform it into a really good wallet that does a decent amount of damage to other zombies. It outclasses almost every type of plan. And that's exactly why I banned it. Yes, I am banning Ibnosho. It certainly makes levels easier than they should be. It's not like it solos the game as Trumper does, but it makes levels quite a joke, which I don't like a lot. Anyways, moving on, this level introduces football zombies! Woohoo! Take a guess on how many insta kills you need.
9 I mean less than 9 and more than 8 but you get my point Again, as an introduction level, you only meet two of them, one in wave 6 and the other one at the final wave. And you have five mowers, so you should be completely fine. Wow, a double flag level in Football Zombies? This looks like hell! Well, not quite true because Football Zombies can only spawn on the last few waves and the other zombies aren't that dangerous. I mean, it's just basic skunkheads and sprinter zombies. So this level is a I.O. Like, MN22 was harder than this because of this is luck. The next level introduces dancing zombies. No, introduction levels are usually easier because they have one flag, but introduction levels can spawn late game zombies very early on the level, and an early dancing zombie can mess you up, but thankfully we have ice rooms, it does 1p of damage to all zombies on screen so it helps a lot to finish off basic zombies and it also freezes all zombies so what else do you want? it's pretty cool now the next level is another double plug level but we have ice room and literal nuclear weapons so, yeah. He knew the world would not be the same. Few people laughed. Few people cried. Most people were silent. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu the prince that he should do his duty and to impress him takes on his multi-armed form and says now I am become death the destroyer of worlds I suppose we all thought that one way or another Now for the last level of the night, a conveyor belt. And remember, we can use one plants on conveyors, so just ignore the football zombies and nook absolutely everything else. Also, uh, remember the funny strategy of conveyor belts and stack three puff shrooms or scary shrooms, but are terrible in this level, so use everything else. So we finally completed 9 levels, they were a little bit harder than day levels, but nothing too much, so yay! We Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out in the next part of the challenge, and it's going to be a fun... What, what was that sound? I I'm sorry, hold on a moment.